Hello everyone, welcome back to Newsroom. I'm Chella Smith. This is your Middle East US entertainment news here on YouTube. I air on Fridays. I bring you the latest on reforms and economics Iraq based on reports put out by the Middle East news media outlets. I do this weekly review and it's based off my interest. Thank you everyone for joining me. Last week I posted the January 6th episode by mistake. I did however a few hours later post the right episode for the current week. If you haven't seen that episode you may want to go back and revisit it because it had a lot to do with this week's parliament sessions. I do apologize for the confusion. Last week we talked about the new budget law, the energy sector, the electricity platform, the Fourth Amendment, and oil and gas laws. Let's take a look at this week's headlines. Twilight News reported the Director General of Commercial Banks in the Kyrgyzstan region, Milaud Sebiar, confirms on Friday that the opening of the National Bank will contribute to the development of banking working in the region, in addition to limiting the rise of the exchange rate of the dollar against the dinar in the local markets in the Kyrgyzstan. On the behalf of the banks, the banking official said that if we obtain permission from the Central Bank of Iraq to work, all the work of the bank will be carried out in terms of regulation and law by the National Bank. There are 94 banks in the Kyrgyzstan region and with the opening of the National Bank, the percentage of employees working in the banking sector will decrease and the National Bank will be a door for investors and create confidence for foreign investors. He said that 500 million of the oil money is spent monthly through the private banks on employee salaries and that the National Bank will resolve this matter. The director General continued by saying that getting the dollar from the Central Bank of Iraq and putting it on the markets in the region will lead to a decline in the exchange rate. On August 12, 2022, the Kyrgyzstan Regional Government announced that the steps to establish the National Bank in the region have reached their final stage after completion of most of the work related to this project. Twilight News reports the president of the Kyrgyzstan regional government, Mauser Barzani, received on Friday, January 20th of this year, a phone call from the U.S. Presidential Coordinator for Infrastructure and Energy Security, Amos Hosking. During the call, the prime minister refers to the recent visit to Baghdad on January 11th, his meeting with the federal prime minister, and his confirmation of the readiness of the Kyrgyzstan regional government to resolve the problems, especially efforts to prepare the federal federal oil and gas law in accordance with the Constitution. In this regards, the president of the Kyrgyzstan region government stressed that the pending of the adoption of the federal and oil and gas law, the Kyrgyzstan regional government will continue to coordinate and cooperate with Baghdad to continue to produce and strengthening the energy sector in the region. The U.S. president coordinator briefed on their visit in the recent days in Baghdad and Erbil. The two sides agreed on the importance of overcoming obstacles to to the development of the energy sector. In another aspects of the talks, the two sides discuss ways to strengthening relations between the Kyrgyzstan region and the United States. And the discussion also witnessed mutual emphasis on the importance of promoting trade, investment, and energy in the Kyrgyzstan region and Iraq. Euphrates News Economics. A report published by the American newspaper Wall Street Journal on Thursday shed light on the dollar crisis in Iraq and a company rise in the price of imported foodstuffs and goods. The newspaper said that Iraqis attribute this to the market change in policy of the U.S. Treasury Department and the Federal Reserve Bank in New York in the recent weeks. The newspaper quoted U.S. and Iraqi officials as saying that the Federal Reserve began last November to impose stricter controls on the transactions of Iraqi commercial banks in the dollar in a move to aim it at reducing money laundering operations. Since 2003, Iraqi banks have operated under less stringent rules. But nearly two decades later, the U.S. and Iraqi officials say it's time to make the Iraqi banking system more compliant with global money transfer controls. Since the new measures came into effect, about 80% of the 
Iraqi daily international financial transfers, which previously totaled to more than $250 million a day, have been blocked. This is due to the lack of significant information about the destinations of the final funds or the other errors, according to the U.S. and Iraqi officials and government official statements. With the dollar scarce, the Iraqi currency depreciated by as much as 10%, leading to sharp rise in the price of imported goods, including commodities such as egg, flour, and cooking oil. For 20 years, we have followed the same system, says South Islamic Bank Chairman Mahmoud Dagger, a former central bank of Iraq's officials. But the Fed shock policy has created a crisis within the economy to supply Iraq with dollars. U.S. Air Force plane delivers dollars to the Baghdad every few months, according to the newspaper. But most of the inflows of the U.S. currency flows electronically through transactions conducted by the private Iraqi banks, which are processed through the Iraqi official accounts at the Federal Reserve Bank, where revenues from the oil sales are deposited. U.S. officials say that strict rules from the economic transfers imposed on private banks come to a no surprise to the officials in Baghdad. They are added that it was jointly implemented in November after two years of discussions and planning by the Central Bank of Iraq and the U.S. Treasury Department and the Federal Reserve. U.S. officials noted that the appreciation of the dollar exchange rate was not due to new measures. Increased scrutiny of the dollar transaction has led Iraqis to rush towards the parallel domestic markets to buy the U.S. currency, a mad tolerant of criticism for the Iraqi officials, bankers, and traders of the new system, who said it was caused due to unnecessary financial shock and excalibrated their already existing economic problems. Iraqi delegated to Washington Prime Minister Mohammad Shi al-Sudani said that the Fed action hurt the poor and threatened his government. Al-Sudani added in an interview that this is the embarrassing and decisive for him and said that he would send a delegation to Washington next month with a proposal to suspend the implementation of the new measures for six months. Under the new measures, Iraqi banks are required to use an electronic platform linked to the Central Bank of Iraq in order to apply for the dollar, after which the application is reviewed by the Federal Reserve Bank. U.S. officials say that the new system aims to limit the use of Iraqi bank systems to smuggling dollars and money laundering heavens across the Middle East. Under the old rules, Dagger says Iraqis were not obligated to disclose details of who the money was sent to until after the transfer had taken place. A spokeswoman for the Federal Reserve Bank of New York commented on the accounts head for foreign governments, including Iraqi accounts, said, We have strong compliance systems for those accounts that speak over time in response to the new information. A U.S. official said that the new measures would limit the ability of malicious actors to use the Iraqi banking system. The U.S. Treasury Department and the Central Bank of Iraq declined to comment. The Central Bank of Iraq said in a December 15th statement that the new online platform requires full details of customers who want to transfer money, including in beneficiaries. A number of errors are being discovered, forcing banks to re-implement the operations. This These measures will take additional time before they are accepted and passed by the international system. Four Iraqi banks were prevented from participating in the currency auctions supervised by the Central Bank of Iraq, according to Iraq. Iraqi officials and judicial documents. Executive at Asia and Ansari declined to comment, while the other two banks could not be reached, according to the newspaper. U.S. officials have been pressing Iraq for years to tighten its banking controls. In 2015, the Federal Reserve and the Treasury temporarily halted the flow of billions of dollars to the Central Bank of Iraq over perceived concerns that would be transferred to ISIS terrorists. 
Office official said at that time. Some Iraqi officials supported tighter oversights of Iraqi private banks, including a member of Parliamentary Integrity Committee, Haddad al-Salami, who says, we need to stop this immediately. The impact of the new strict controls on the Iraqi bank transactions, which have fallen sharply since they came into force last November, can be seen according to the data published by the website of the Central Bank of Iraq. For an example, on October 17th last year, before the new rules came into effect, daily transfers from Iraqi officials' accounts at the Federal Reserves and other offshore institutions amounted to $224.4 million compared to $22.9 million on January 17th, down about 90%. U.S. officials say that these financial turmoils will ease as the Iraqis comply with disclosure requirements required by the new measures. Iraqi bankers and currency dealers say the new rules are aimed at stopping dollar smuggling. For example, they say importers used to visit invoices of goods that did not originally arrive in Iraq, but were paid for in dollars to unknown parties outside of the country. Dollars certainly go to Iran, Turkey, Syria, Yemen, Lebanon, and sometimes Dubai, says Hamza al saf of Exchange Shop Owner in Baghdad Car District. Due to the new compliance request and being prevented from Iraqi banks, Iraqi importers have been forced to delay the submission of applications and find other ways to pay suppliers, such as using informal money transfer networks no. known as Hawa. Some traders load dollars and ship them out in Iraqi cars, the teller said. Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Sudani chairs on Thursday morning a meeting of the final details of the country's draft general budget for the current year. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Sudani chairs a special meeting to discuss the final details of the draft federal budget law for 2023. His media office said in a brief statement received by Shafak News Agency in the middle of the month, Iraqi President Abdulatif Jamal Rashid informed Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Sudani of his intentions to approve the draft federal budget law of 2023 as he announced her arrival at the presidential office. Al Sudani announced on March 1st the increase in the amount of salaries in the general budget for the year 2023, but the draft law needs a lot more time. Al Sudani says in a press conference that the amount of salaries in the budget increased from 41 to 62 trillion dollars, explaining that the budget needs a lot of time. The Parliamentary Finance Committee indicates that the completion rate of the draft budget for 2023 amounted to more than 95 percent, while point pointing out that the last touches are delaying its decision in the corridors of the Council of Ministry. Baghdad Mawazine News reported the dollar exchange rate continues to rise in local markets in Iraq. The selling price of the 100 was 165,500 dinars, while the purchasing price of 100 was 164,500 Iraqi dinars. We continue to see those prices fluctuating. You've been watching Newsroom Weekly Review. I'm Chella Smith, your Middle East U.S. entertainment news on reforms and economics Iraq. I bring you the latest in our news without having to keep up with all the different outlets. I'm here on YouTube every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn those notification bells on. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. If you really like my content, you can always leave me a super thanks or a super chat. Again, thank you for being a subscriber and thank you for visiting Newsroom Chella Smith here on YouTube. I'll see you next week. Take care.